So here we know that um, uh, we're going to take down to be the positive direction. So downwards is positive. And we can say that here mg minus f is equaling ma. And then we can say that here, if the thrust f sub 1 is equaling 3260 newtons, uh, then the acceleration is zero. So we can say that here, so we can set up an equation. We can say mg minus f sub 1 is going to equal zero. And if the thrust f sub 2, rather we can say if the thrust f sub 2 is equaling 2200 newtons, then the acceleration is equaling 0.39 meters per second squared. So we can then say that mg minus f sub 2 is equaling ma. Now, the first equation gives the weight of the landing craft. We can say mg would be equal to f sub 1, and this is equaling 3,260 newtons. This would be the weight of the landing craft. For part B, we can use a second equation for the mass. This would be m equals mg minus f sub 2 divided by the acceleration sub 2, or we can just say this acceleration. This would be equal to 3,260 newtons, which is essentially the weight of the landing craft, minus the second thrust of 2,200 newtons, divided by the acceleration of 0.39 meters per second squared, and we find that the mass of the landing craft is approximately 2,700 kilograms. Now for part C, finally we can say that the weight divided by the mass gives the acceleration due to gravity. So the acceleration of gravity on the planet would be the total weight of, 32, of 3,260 newtons, and then divided by the uh, mass of 2,700 kilograms. And so the acceleration of gravity on this planet, on the surface of the planet, would be 1.2 meters per second squared. This would be our answer for part C, our answer for part B, and of course our answer for part A. That is the end of the solution. Thank you for watching.